Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be showing you guys the new and updated um, app called Remote. It is made by Apple. A lot of you guys have heard about it, but it now works on the iPad full screen with a uh, custom version. It's a universal app for the iPad and iPhone. The iPhone update pretty much just adds, um, I believe, some bug fixes and Retina display graphics, so the iPad presents us with a whole new user interface. So basically what this app allows you to do is it allows your, um, this app right here on your iPhone or iPod Touch, as long as this and your PC or Mac over here, I have a PC, are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you can control your PC's um, iTunes library with the iPad. So let's go ahead and set it up and we're going to tap Add to iTunes Library, and you're presented with a code which you will then go ahead and enter right here by clicking iPad, then I'm going to go ahead and enter the code. Okay, it says your remote's now able to control iTunes. As you can see, this looks very similar to this. So it's basically has the same um, iTunes look to it, kind of a blend between the iPod app on the iPad and the iTunes app on the computer. And as you can see, we can just go ahead and start playing a song here. Let's go ahead and play Young Forever. And as you can see, let's turn up the volume on my computer, it starts playing on my computer as you can see right there. So this works anywhere that this iPad or iPhone has a connection with the Wi-Fi that your computer's connected on. So essentially you could control your music if your computer's hooked up, so let's say speaker system or even your Apple TV because this app does work with that um, basically from anywhere in the house. So it's definitely a really cool app. As you can see you can also control your movies, uh, TV shows, you have a podcast, you can have all your playlists, and you can even have multiple libraries by going and adding one. But I'm not going to do that. I only have one computer, so there's no need for that unless you have multiple computers. So uh, one more thing to mention right here is that it does have a nice volume slider that uh, works pretty well. It's a little laggy, but other than that, the app is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, free in the App Store. Um, if you have it for the iPhone or iPod Touch, it's a free update, and you can get it for the iPad as a free download. It's made by Apple, so it's uh, basically the official app for controlling your iTunes. So that's it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX, and uh, thanks for watching.